Hello guys, this is Celso. In this tutorial video, I would like to discuss with you a little bit about the line code object. This object contains impedance characteristics for lines and cables, which are essentially a series impedance matrix and a nodal capacitive admittance matrix. This object is very useful when the system under study has a great amount of lines, but only a few different kinds of line constructions. Let's start with an hypothetical system with six buses K, L, M, N, P, and Q. The circuit element is connected to bus K. There is a transformer between buses K and L, a three phase four wire line between buses L and M called line 1, a similar line between buses M and N called line 2, and two single phase two wire lines, line 3 and line 4, connected between buses M and P and buses N and Q respectively. Finally, let's add two single phase loads, load 1 and load 2, at buses P and Q. I will quickly describe all these elements in OpenSCS. First, the circuit element, then the transformer between buses K and L. Now, the first line. Note that as it's a 4 wire line, we define its parameter phases equal to 4. Besides that, its neutral conductor is grounded at bus L. Then, bus 1 has to be defined as L.1.2.3.0. I'm going to use some predefined values for the matrices. Note that they are all 4x4 four four matrices. Let's do the same for the other three lines. Please pay attention to the bus's definition. Now the two single phase loads, which are connected to buses P and Q. There are two voltage levels in this example, 115 kV and 4.16 kV. Let OpenDSS calculate the bus's voltage basis for us. After solving the power flow, let's take a look at the currents in elements report. Note that all the nodes are matching with what we have specified. For instance, line 1 is connected between nodes 1, 2, 3 and 0 of bus L and nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4 of bus M, and load 1 is connected between nodes 1 and 4 of bus P. Now let's solve the same system but using the line code object to describe the lines. As you should have noticed, the matrices for the three phase four wire lines are equal. Then we can use a single line code to describe them. For example, I'm going to call this line code as code underscore 1. It has four phases. Note that the parameter now is n phases instead of only phases. Base frequency equal to 60. It means that the R matrix and X matrix values are, gi are given in this specific frequency. Then, if you want to solve your system for a different frequency, OpenSS converts all line impedances for the correct frequency. And finally, the unit is kilometers. All we gotta do now is to define the matrices for this line code, which I will copy from line 1. Then, in line 1 definition, we can simply refer it to code underscore 1 using the parameter line code. The same applies for line 2, as it has the same impedance as line 1. One important thing to notice here is that the line element and the line code object don't need to have the same units. For instance, you could specify the line code in kilometers, which means that the impedances are given in ohms per kilometer and the capacitances in nanofarads per kilometer, and the line length in miles. OpenSCS takes care of the unit's conversion. Let's also create a line code for the lines line 3 and line 4. It will be called code underscore 2. The process is exactly the same.
Solving the circuit again, we can see that the results are exactly the same as expected. Now, let's assume that the system is completely grounded. In other words, nodes 4 of, of buses M, N, P and Q are connected to ground, that is node 0. Let's solve the system and save some currents in a few elements for future verification. For example, loads in line 4 and load 1. When a line is grounded on both ends, we can perform the current reduction in order to eliminate the neutral conductor and work with a 3 by 3 matrix instead, in this case, without affecting the power flow results. The current reduction can be set directly in the line code definition. All we need to do is to add the parameter neutral with the conductor we want to reduce or row and column of this conductor in the impedance matrix. For the three-phase four-wire lines, the neutral conductor corresponds to conductor number four. Finally, we have to set the parameter crown to yes. The same applies to the second line code. However, in this case, as this line code describes a single-phase two-wire line and the neutral conductor parameters are described in the second row and column of the series impedance matrix, we have to set neutral to true and again crown to yes. By doing so, we don't need to specify the connection of the last conductor in the line's definition. In this case, all we have to do is to delete the dot zero from the bus's definition. And as dot one, dot two, dot three is the default bus definition for a three-phase line, we can just delete them and use only L, M, and N. The same applies for the number of phases in the line because the actual number of phases is overwritten from the line code. I personally like to leave the original number of conductors in the parameter of phases. Finally, solving the system again, note that there is no node 0 in the lines anymore. This is because of the crown reduction. However, one can see that the results are exactly the same. Keep in mind that you can also define a line code using symmetrical components. However, in this case, the Crown reduction does not apply, since the symmetrical components values are applied only over a 3x3 matrix, which means that the Crown reduction has already been assumed.